Now, before we get into the game with the North Carolina A&T Aggies, let's look into some in-season recruiting. Vet the Pierce is no surprise, considering we really don't utilize our tight ends much, mainly because they're not good. But we're really going to go hard for Brad Anderson. We need some more depth at the cornerback spot, as well as Blake Clayton at strong safety. Tim Mitchell, we have high chances of getting him, as well as Chris Jones. But our number one goal is to get depth on the defensive side of the ball, mainly in the secondary, and we're looking to add on at the middle linebacker spot. We really need to build up our inside linebacker spot because we are so weak right there right now. And then J.C. Moore won't be available until season four. We're also looking to get Marcus Wilson. You can never have too many wide receivers. But so far, our recruiting list is very deep. So the big game of the weekend is the Miami Hurricanes at home taking on the Virginia Cavaliers, the Wahoos. Meanwhile, in the Gump Town, we have a MEAC SWAT challenge going on this weekend. As the North Carolina a and Aggies come down to play the Alabama State Hornets. Now in real life, North Carolina a and have been running things in the HBCU world. Going to the Celebrations Bowl damn near every year. Beating Alcorn State in the Celebrations Bowl damn near every year. But this isn't the case here. It's the complete opposite of what they've done in real life. So let's meet the impact players for the North Carolina a and Aggies. We got quarterback Mark Washington, a true sophomore at 6'1", 212. 89 throw power and 84 throw accuracy. We're gonna make sure we keep him in check today. And he has 86 speed. I know this team also likes to run the ball. That's mainly because of their impact player at running back by the name of Tony Miranda. He's a beast, by the way. He's been on the player of the week list plenty of times. And then you have their right outside linebacker, Eric Allen, that's looking to wreak havoc on defense. This is an interesting game considering I don't think Alabama State or North Carolina a and have played each other for a very, very long time. I don't remember. But anyway, let's get into the gameplay. So we start off this game just like we did two weeks ago versus West Virginia. We're looking to run heavy early on and then eventually we mix in the pass. There goes Newton stepping back to pass. He finds Justin Chambers in the flat, but then he's immediately taken down for a one yard gain. And then here goes Justin Chambers again. The man all the way from VA all the way up the left sideline gets tackled inside the 25 yard line. The true sophomore is back to make an even bigger impact than he did last season. And there he goes again, taking the ball inside the five and taking down at the two yard line. Alabama State's already knocking on the door at the two. We try to do some trickery and North Carolina a and is not having it. The defensive end was not fooled on that play. So then we try a toss play. And North Carolina A&T shuts that down. There goes Allen on the tackle. So here we go again. Newton stepping back. The pass. And that was just a bad read by Bobby Newton. So we settle for the three points. The kick is up. And the field goal attempt is good. Yeah, I know. That wasn't good play calling inside the five-yard line. Getting ready to score. Come assist would have just told me to give the ball to Justin Chambers. As Lawrence Martin Cut gets his first sack of his collegiate career. Big sack there for Lawrence Martin. 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 And then look at Tony Miranda fighting for yards. And then eventually he's taken down by Blake Stovall. Third down. Washington rolling out a little bit. Has plenty of time to pass. Pops it. And then that pass is deflected away by Cedric McNeil. Great play there, and the Hornets are back on offense. Newton under pressure, pops up a prayer, and Kevin Scott brings it in. What a beautiful catch there by Kevin Scott, the Ohio State Buckeye transfer. This is great considering two weeks ago, he dropped three balls on his la la uh, against West Virginia. Now he's looking to redeem himself. There goes Bobby Newton. Finding Jason White, he makes a man miss. He goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. What a play there by Jason White after the catch. Bobby Newton fighting him on the right side. 
all day the pass great blocking by the offensive line and then Jason White does the rest what a play there by the sophomore we're expecting big things from Jason White in season three the man from Prattville making his presence known in season three. First and ten Hornets back on offense and there goes Lawrence Martin again chasing down Tony Miranda and then look at this the fullback Shelby going up the middle getting the first down marker so here we go it's the end of the first quarter the score is 10 nothing Hornets second quarter there goes Tony Miranda trying to turn the corner and then he's eventually taken down by Cedric McNeil second and seven Miranda once again this Aggie team loves to run the football, but that time Jamal Sykes gets in on the tackle. Look at Miranda this time. He fumbles the football, and then Shelby, the fullback, recovers it. So the Aggies have the punt, and then there goes Justin Chambers. The man all the way from VA making a man miss and powering his way past that first down marker. Second and ten. Here he goes again. Makes a man miss. Breaks away from a tackle. Goes down the right sideline, and then he's tackled near the 45. Justin Chambers is amazing. So now we go to our other back. Oh, look at that. Did you see that stiff arm? What a play there by Kenny Gaston. Chambers back on the field, but there goes Newton. No! Oh! Kevin Scott tried to make the catch, but he dropped it. Great effort, though. There goes Kenny Gaston once again. Powering his way near that first down marker. It's third and one. The man all the way from VA gets the handoff. He makes a man miss it. Then he gets tackled at the 21-yard line. Here we go. Newton. Stepping back. He finds Brown. Tim Brown makes the catch at the bop. And Newton feels the pressure. And now we got second and three. Newton. Stepping back. This time he goes down. He's sacked by Newberry. Didn't have any time to look. Nobody was open. Newton stepping back again. He finds Kevin Scott. He makes the catch. He gets tackled near the first down marker. So now we're going to go forward on fourth and two. There goes Chambers. Going up the left side. Gets to the pile line. Touchdown Alabama State. 17 to nothing. The Hornets are doing their thing on offense. So here we go. We're back on defense. There goes the Aggies. And there goes Washington going down again. This time it's Cal Gray. Moving to that nickel back spot. And then getting his first sack of his collegiate career. Second and 16 though. Look at Miranda. Trying to find some gaps. But he can't. And at halftime the score is 17 to nothing. Alabama start. The Aggies come out the locker room at the recess. And there goes Miranda taking the handoff. But he goes nowhere as Corey Abdullah goes down with a hip injury. So then on second and eight. They give the ball to Miranda, and that Hornet defense is swarming as Mike Considine gets in on the tackle. This time, Washington has all day to pass. He's popping it to Mikulik. Mikulik hauls it in. They didn't give me the user. And then Cedric McNeil comes from his side of the field to take Mikulik down at the 40. So first and 10, here goes Miranda. Miranda breaking a tackle, and then he gets tripped up from behind by Kyle Gray. It's second and four. Washington stepping back nobody up the middle that's incomplete third and four they try to do the option but this time there goes Josh Six the true freshman at free safety making a tackle short of the first down and the Hornets are back on offense Newton looking deep for Jason White Jason White off in the pass and gets away from the safety Jason White is inside the 10 Jason White is taken down at the damn two yard line what a play there by Jason White what a catch. And then he gets away from the safety. But he wasn't fast enough to get into the end zone. Nevertheless, the horn is at the two-yard line. So there goes Kyle Gray. Yeah, let's stop being stupid. We have the man all the way from VA. And then he goes into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. The Hornets are up 24 to nothing. But then there goes Tony Miranda. And then he's taken down once again. The Hornet defense is on it. And then look at Mike Considine jumping all over Miranda's back to make the tackle. This time Miranda gets the handoff again. Look at Blake Stovall, the walk-on middle linebacker, making a textbook tackle. And then here we go again. Newton looking deep for Kevin Scott. Kevin Scott making big plays. After dropping three balls against West Virginia two weeks ago, he's making some big plays here today. And then here we go again. This time Newton is picked off by Halloway. Bad pass there, bad read there, and an even better 
defensive read by Holloway. So here we go. The Hornets are back on defense. There goes the Aggies. There goes Washington with the play fake. And then Jason Moore bats that away. Second and ten. Miranda taken down by Lawrence Martin. 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 And then that pass just hits the turf on third down. As we go into the fourth quarter, it's 24 to nothing, Alabama. Sorry. Second and nine, we're back on defense. Bobby Newton looking for Jason White. He makes the catch and he's tackled inside the 30 yard line around the 26. Here we go again. First and 10. Newton. All day to pass. He finds Jason White once again. Jason White having a career day today. So here we go, Newton. Spins back all day to pass. He finds Kevin Scott. Kevin Scott gets to the power line. Touchdown, Alabama. Like, there he goes again. The Ohio State Buckeye transfer. Making a catch. Get into the power line. And scoring his first touchdown in his career. Great play there by Kevin Scott. The Hornets are now up 31 to nothing. But then here comes Tony Miranda. Breaking a tackle. And Colin Robinson taken down for a loss. Here we go again with Tony Miranda. He breaking tackles. The Aggies are going to stay true to character despite being down 31 nothing. And then there goes Washington. Breaking a tackle. And then eventually taken down by what looks like Cedric McNeil. First and 10. Draw play. Miranda. Fighting for yardage, but he gets taken down. He's not going anywhere today. Draw play. And there goes Tony Miranda up the gut untouched. And then he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina A&T. Wow. But here goes the man all the way from VA. Oh, man, I really am hurt at the fact that we're not going to get that shutout. But it's second and ten. We give it to Justin Chambers once again. He gets to the first down marker. The man is averaging over 10 yards a carry. That's crazy. That was a bad pass there by Bobby Newton intended for Tim Brown. So we're going back to Kenny Gasson in the run game. And then he couldn't get nowhere. He tried to make a man miss, but he was unsuccessful. Then on third and six, we try to do a power option. And they shut that down. So we're going forward on fourth down. And we get sacked. <laughs> we got sacked. So here we go again. Washington stepping back. He finds Jones. Jones makes a great catch. Big play there. Just tackled just short of the 50. There goes Miranda. Makes a man miss. Spin move. And just like that, Tony Miranda is gone. Wow. They're going for two now. They're going to hit the two points. Toss play to Miranda. And with ease, they get it. So after doing a little onside kick that was unsuccessful, we give the ball to the man all the way from VA, and he's tackled just past the 40-yard line, still in Hornet territory. We hand it off to him again. He's breaking tackles. He's in impact player mode, Super Saiyan mode, and then he gets to that first down marker. The man all the way from VA with his second straight 100-yard game on the season. Here goes Newton again, sacked again. They, had, they sacked us four times today. 30-16. And yeah. We're trying to get something going. So on 4-16, why not? Why not? Let's let our nuts hang. Look at Kevin Scott making the catch. Moss and two defenders once again. The ball's at the 11-yard line. And then we're going to give it to Justin Chambers and let him finish off the drive as time expires on the game. Touchdown, Alabama. We end the game winning 37 to 15. Definitely not the best offensive performance, but we look really good on defense. We're looking way better than we did last year. The only thing with our defense now is, is that our run defense still sucks. Pass defense is on. We're getting pressure at, on the quarterback now. We're not giving up as many big plays, but this is just the second game of the season. You'll never know what's gonna happen. So here we go, Bobby Newton with probably his most efficient game of his career with 12 for 18, over 300 yards passing. Justin Chambers, automatic, over 100 yards rushing. Kevin Scott had the best game of his career. The wide receivers as a unit only dropped three balls, but that's still too many. Jason White also had the best game of his career with over 160 yards receiving. This defense though was lights out. Lights out. 
Jamal Sykes and Lawrence Martin all had sacks today. What can I say, man? It's great to be a Hornet right now. Join us next time on the next episode of The Sting. Peace.